In this video, we're talking about the CIA Triad. Hi everybody, welcome to Studio Sec. Thank you for watching. Like this video if it's helpful, comment down below uh, with any thoughts you might have, and be sure to subscribe for more content I'm posting every week. Subscribing can also help a small channel like mine to grow, so I really appreciate your help. The CIA Triad makes up the basis of cybersecurity theory. No matter what you're doing in cybersecurity, you will be somewhere in the cybersecurity triad. Think of it as like a spectrum. You have the three different apexes of this triangle where you have confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And whatever you're working on will fall somewhere in that spectrum. It could be a combination of all three where it would be you know, in the exact center of that triangle. It could be uh, just a combination of two or it might just be one, but it's gonna be somewhere in this triad. To make it easy on kind of an offensive defensive mindset, offense is trying to attack CIA in an organization and the defense is trying to uphold it. Having a clear understanding of what CIA is can make or break your cybersecurity posture. So real quick, and you've already heard me say what it is, but we'll go through it again. It is confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So let's break down each one of these parts. Confidentiality. A nice question that you can ask when, when looking into confidentiality is, who has access to this information and do only the right people have that access? In order to prevent uh, unauthorized users from having access to particular sensitive information, it, for this, let's use an analogy with passwords. Let's make sure that only the right people have access to just their password and that people do not have access to other people's passwords. You can use various forms of encryption, or in this case, we will use hashing. Uh, we will store passwords in a hash. We will also use various forms of access control to make sure that you know employees do not have access to any kind of password ledger. Only admins have any ability to uh, reset a user's password. Attackers will be trying to attack the confidentiality apex of the CIA triad by trying to force the organization into using a weaker encryption. Uh, if say, you know, they're trying to do a regressive attack or if they are, uh, you know, trying to uh, find where the organization is already using a weak hash uh, algorithm or encryption algorithm. In order to protect from that, make sure that your org is using the newest form of encryption and hashing algorithms. For instance, don't use MD5. MD5 is broken. So be sure to go online and check what the newest uh, encryption algorithm is. You know, it's always changing and it, the, the faster computers go, the faster they're able to process these algorithms, which means it's easier for uh, these algorithms to break. However, likewise, that also means that they're able to come up with more complex algorithms. So, you know, it'll kind of be a bit of a dynamic between, you know, who can create the most complex algorithm and who can break it. The next apex is integrity. For this, we'll ask a simple question. Is my information safe from being stolen by an attacker? For this, we'll do a number of things. We'll have firewalls. We will have different kinds of monitoring techniques. We will use intrusion detection and prevention systems and different kinds of access control. You'll probably notice that some of these steps might be repeated for all three or for a couple. That's because they may take care of several parts of the CIA triad. For this, attackers will try to exploit known vulnerabilities in an organization. Uh, so if you know you haven't applied a patch or if there's a known vulnerability in one of the services you're running, an attacker will try to do that and violate the integrity of your network. Sometimes, and this is the worst, is they'll exploit a feature where it's not necessarily a bug or a vulnerability, it's just, it's a part of what the application is supposed to do and they just find that, well, it helps them to get unauthorized access. So make sure that you're very careful about the applications and services that you use and they really do what you think that they do. So of course, in order to uphold integrity, make sure that you're protecting uh, using whitelists and blacklists. Make sure you're using access control. Make sure you're using you know, different kinds of monitoring and uh, prevention techniques to make sure that only authorized users have access to only their information. And of course, the last apex of this triad is availability. And for this, we'll ask a question, is my information accessible when I need it? This is especially critical if you work in sensitive in infrastructure like a hospital or, or an industry or you have access to a system or you control a system that cannot be down at any point in time. It has to be constantly up and running. Attackers might be trying to take that system down for any number of reasons. So you need to make sure that that system is protected and available at all times. To do this, you can use load balancing. 
You can use different kinds of other DDoS protection techniques. Really, you wanna make sure that only legitimate traffic is communicating with that machine and that everything else is not. In summary, the CIA framework will really be the basis of your entire cybersecurity career. Wherever you are, you're somewhere in the CIA triad. So real quick, let's do a quick review. CIA stands for confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So I have a pop quiz for you. Comment down below with the answer. Where does encryption lie in the CIA triad? Again, comment down below with your answer. Be sure to like this video for more. Be sure to like this video if this was helpful and subscribe for more content I'm posting every week. Thank you. Mm -hmm.